everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Kane's TV, only on Kane TV. It has been a little bit of a while since our last episode, which is not by design. We've been busy, you know, we're students too. Don't put everything on us. And normally here, I give you a rundown of news of the week, or we have a little new segment, or one of those sort of things, but uh, it's been so long that we've missed like a bunch of stuff. There was spring break, there are a bunch of different uh, events, a lot of cool, fun stuff happening. And I'm sorry that we weren't there to tell you about them, but we'll be here to tell you about the following stuff later on in the video. Uh, our first video today is called Uh, who killed mm, who killed Diego Mendoza? Enjoy So I was going into 440. Man, so bright, what? Ah! <laughs> oh, Diego. He was my, one of my best friends. Now he's dead! <laughs> Who's gonna help me do movies with that now? Every Friday at King TV. So I was just going in there to get some work done, maybe get something to eat, you know, yell at Kevin, the usual. He owed me five bucks. What? Oh, that's right. I brought you here. My bad. No, no, it should have been me. It should have been me. No, 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 Sam. Don't say that about yourself. No, I, I should have killed him. I think Kevin did it. What, you want me to explain? I don't know. It's just always been something off about that guy. I just can't really put my finger on it. Dude, what just happened? Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> Why? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He, he did, did it. it. Well... Oh yeah, he did it. What? Why? We all know you were jealous of Diego's position in the club. What? No, I'm not! No, it was because he was always mad at you for putting the guitar on drop B. What? No, he's my best friend! No, it's because you've always hated him. I think that was you. Oh, you might be right. Guys, no! Last time I was hanging out with him, I was giving him coffee and...
Hey, what's up? What's up? Got your coffee? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, right? Yeah. Because I, I have a pretty big allergy, pretty bad allergy. Don't worry about it. Yeah, okay, don't worry. I'll stop worrying. I'll stop worrying. Oh, I gotta watch it. I'll have fun. You. I'll see ya. See ya. <sighs> Ah, 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 that needs like sugar or something. Ah, oh, that. Kevin, what's wrong? Oops, I guess. What a great short film from Rohit. On that note, I'm your new host, Bree Dog. On Kane's TV, only on Kane TV. We have mini movies with Matt coming up next. Let's check it out. Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of Mini Movies with Matt, or as we like to call it, Triple M. I'm your host, Matt Trello, and we're gonna be talking about today something a little different. A movie that just came out. What do you know? How come I never done that on this show yet? So I saw my first movie that, that came out this year, and of course, it was Madam Web. Yeah, Madam Web. What a great, great, great movie that I did not see. No, 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 no. We're talking about Dune Part 2. Ah, I gotcha, didn't I? Yes, Dune Part 2, once again directed by Denis Villeneuve, and is, of course, the second half of the big Dune book. You know, because Dune's a really big book. And you can't do it in one movie. God knows how many have tried. Sorry, David Lynch. And I saw it at early screening. Packed house. On the big IMAX screen. And... Holy moly. That was really... That was fantastic. That was phenomenal. You know, if this came out when it was originally supposed to in 2023, I think I have a hard time putting it on the top 10. That's how great that movie is. So yeah, if you enjoyed Dune Part 1, you're going to really like this one. There's a lot more world building, a lot more more action, and a lot, and a lot more... Alaskan Boys! But all of it comes together in in the second half of of uh, Timothy Chalamet's character Paul's incredible journey to become the hero. Mm. You just have to watch the movie to understand my context. And of course, if if you were disappointed that Zendaya wasn't in the first part, you're really gonna like Zendaya. Zendaya is great in the, in this. It's a very long movie, to almost three hours, but every minute is worth its time. There is not a single moment waste, wasted. And the film looks incredible. One of the best looking blockbusters is period. This is what a $200 million 
sci-fi movies gotta look like. Take notes, Disney. Take notes. There's not much I could say about Doom Part 2 without getting into spoiler territory, which, or if you've read the book, which I have not because I keep meaning to read the book, but I don't, I just have no time because it's a long book. It's long. Austin Butler's in it, and if you liked him as Elvis, you're really gonna like him as a very pale, bald guy. And a lot of the other cast is great. Rebecca Ferguson. They had Christopher Walken, and Florence Pugh. Dave Bautista's back. Man, if I had a nickel for every movie Dave Bautista and Florence Pugh have been in that I've seen lately, I have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that's happened twice. The first one being the English dub of Boy and the Heron. But overall, Dune Part 2, just incredible. If I had a whole episode worth, I would gladly dedicate to Dune. Well, actually, both parts. Because, you know, you need both parts to tell the whole story. And I give it the ever-loving five out of five stars. That's right. We're already off 2024 with a, with a good start. Because I skipped Madam Web. Well, that's all for, for Mini Movies Matt or Triple M. And we'll see you next time. Take care. And watch out for the Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> Well, thank you for that mini, not so mini movies with Matt. Up next, we have another segment by Matt featuring your dearly beloved, long lost Diego Mendoza. Give it up for What the Duck Are We Eating? This guy can never meet anywhere normal. He chooses a classroom of all places. Hey, Jeff, buddy, how you been? Uh, had a pretty wild weekend, too. You know what time it is. I think it's grub time. I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. Well, obviously not a real horse, because that'd be weird. Anyways, well, what you thinking? Let's see. Sandwiches, on you. No, I get it. Too many carbs, you gotta... Watch that figure of yours. Uh, let's see. Uh, burgers. I, I know you have to watch your cholesterol. Hey, don't talk to me like that, okay? I'm sorry. Jeez. Uh, let's see. Pizza. Everyone loves pizza. Since when? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I had a tennis match. And and didn't know you got food poisoning. You know, why gotta be like this? You like this every time. Remember that group project? Oh, don't bother. I'll tell you. I had to teach the whole class about the stock market by myself because you, with the accounting major, were so lazy, all you did was the title page. Yeah, I, I thought I was over, but apparently my so-called friend is making me starve, opening up the, the age-old wounds. Oh, that's how you feel? I was thinking I was gonna possibly want some sushi. And now since when do you have a problem with sushi? I could have sworn I saw you eat a whole tray of shrimp by yourself last week. You know what? Have whatever you want. I can't take this anymore. Man, it's cold out here. Is, is that Jeff? What's he doing out in the cold? This guy. Don't think you're gonna save this one with some of that smooth talking of yours. You had your chance yesterday. Ever since you've been hanging out with that new cool friend of yours, you've changed. You used to be content with just having Wendy's and some small talk. And I can't even be in the same airspace as you. No, I, Jeff, I know you can't eat other birds, but what does that have to do with anything? That's it. We're done. I should have seen the red flags. Have a nice life. Maybe your diner will find you what you want.
let's all, so let me get this straight. He blames you meeting me for your friendship falling apart? Well, let, let me tell you something. You know something? He doesn't need you. You know why? Because people change over time. No one wants to stay in the same place in life forever. That's just no fun. That ruins all part of growing up. You know what I mean? Well, whatever. It's water under the bridge now. On a more important note, what are we eating today? Wow, a grilled cheese. That's the perfect meal. I mean, it's so much better than any chicken, am I right? You, you do eat chicken? Ooh, um, maybe we should talk about that. Well, what the duck was that? Anyways, thank you guys for watching our installments on Kane's TV, only on Kane TV. Send us in some information or upcoming events you guys would like to get possibly featured, and we'll let you guys know. I'm your host, Bree Dog, and I'll see you when I see you. No thanks. Ciao.